Uh, so uh, today we're here to talk about the Sony Xperia XZ, uh, the latest flagship from Sony. Uh, its direct competitors would be uh, the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, Samsung S6 Edge and the uh, OnePlus 3 definitely. Uh, we'll get straight to it. The screen um, on the XZ is 5.2 inches, um, the lower end of those devices I've just said. The resolution on the XZ is 1080 by 1920, which again, uh, which matches the iPhone um, and the OnePlus, but is below the S6 Edge. The strange thing with the resolution is uh, it should be worse than it is. I mean, the, the screen, because the, the screen is a little bit smaller, uh, it seems to pack a few more pixels into every, every, every avenue. Um, so when you watch a video, which obviously it's on, you're trying to sell this on, it's really, really good. Um, you can game on this as well. And when you film, uh, everything seems really, really clear. Um, regards the camera, it's 23 megapixels on the rear and um, 13 on the front. Um, again, um, vastly superior to many rivals. Uh, it actually works quite well as well. I mean, um, it takes up, uh, there seems to be a marginal delay between trying to take a photo and the photo being taken, but um, what turns out is always perfect. Filming video is good as well. There's quite a lot of features. Um, there's quite a cool feature to help you slow, you can um, film, uh, say, 30 seconds of video and you can choose what part of it you want to slow down. There's 4K video, there's panoramic shooting, standard kind of add-ons uh, most, uh, with most camera settings. Um, one of the weird things is that, with the, I wonder is it because of the RAM, some of the some some things don't quite work right. Um, auto rotate tends to stick a little bit. Um, it certainly did the first couple of days I had the phone. Um, uh, Snapchat, um, just the last couple of days I've noticed that seems to just not quite work as smoothly as everything else. The price of the XZ comes in at around 700 euro, which is around about the lower end of the of, of the price of these premium phones. There's 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of, word, um, of memory you can get with the phone, but also there are slots to add in additional memory. Um, and speaking of ports, it's on USB-C, which is good for fast charge with the, with the wire you get with the phone. But if you're like most people, you haven't got many of these wires lying around the house, it's a bit grim when you've left it in work or left it at home. Um, however, the battery is so strong on the XZ um, and on all Sony devices that it does last a long time. Uh, last Friday, I took, it home, took the phone home from work, forgot a charger. It had been used all day in work, um, went to a, a function on Saturday afternoon, used the camera quite a lot, used the phone quite a lot. It wasn't until late um, Saturday evening that the battery was really on its last legs. Um, so again, with its Sony, it's always battery and camera that it sells it on. Um, on the whole, price-wise, I mean, if you're going to look for a premium phone, you're going to be uh, looking in this ballpark anyway. So price-wise, it probably makes sense to go Sony. Uh, what seems like um, mildly stripped down variants of um, the processing power, all, all the stuff that goes with that, kind of work, the way they've constructed it works quite well. It's operating on Marshmallow at the moment, it'll move up to Nougat, um, presumably when um, Nougat comes in. We had the Compact in a couple of months ago, um, which was the mid-range, slightly above mid-range phone Sony had in the last year and a half. Um, and it seems to be keeping that exact design just kind of made bigger. Um, but what is quite good is the screen isn't the entirety of the front of the phone, um, which is what a lot of them are going down by, it's not something I'm into. Um, and the migrating one uh, one profile from one phone over to the other was quite a lot easier and a lot quicker than usual and uh, the only problem on that side of it is sony has now if this is to be if this is now leading the charge has now dropped the fm radio on their phone and they're one of the few remaining manufacturers who had them so that's not good for people like me who like listening to the radio without internet connectivity and um, but all in all it's a good phone uh, one of their better ones um, and at its price probably worth it uh, so that's our review of the sony xperia xz and um, for more information, visit SilicomPropy.com. Enjoy watching this video? Click here for all the latest news on SilicomPropy.com or follow us on social media.